Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. <laughs> oh. yourselves up for failure and disappointment. We see you doing it all the time. And we know that most of you are doing it for the purposes of Sparing yourselves from a major letdown. We also recognize that this particular process of putting yourselves in the position to fail is one that you have learned from others. You take on the vibration of those around you if you do not know enough to reject certain notions and not allow yourselves to be overcome by the vibrations of those around you. But it doesn't have to be this way anymore. Not at this point in your lives and in your spiritual evolution. You can see these self-defeating thoughts, beliefs, 
and patterns of behavior as what you decided you wanted to overcome in this life. There is a natural tendency to want to do better than your parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles did. And certainly there is hope when you are young. But that hope can be snuffed out by those around you who want very much to save you the trouble of getting your hopes up. So how do you break the familial cycle of putting yourself in a position where the expectation is to not succeed? Well, as we said in our previous transmission, you can see yourself as a source energy being. And in that way, you are holding space for yourself to succeed. But that can be easier said than done. We want to give you some practical steps for putting this philosophy, this approach to life into action. And so here those steps are. First, you want to make peace with this setup. Make peace with your family and how they unintentionally squashed all of your hopes and dreams. Second, become aware of the thoughts, beliefs, and patterns of behavior. Awareness will take you very far in all areas of life. Now, thirdly, once you have that awareness, you can see these self-defeating ideas as words that are floating around you. They exist in your field. And they are easily blown away by you when you take a deep breath. So you take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you blow through your mouth out and see the words being blown away. Now that may seem trite and a bit too simplistic. And so now we get to the more intricate and challenging part, part four or step four in this process. And that step is to open yourself up to possibilities that you cannot even imagine. We want you to go beyond the limitation that is built into your mind 
And in order to do that, you have to operate outside of your mental processes. And so you just feel yourself opening up like a flower that receives sunlight and rain. But you are opening up to new ideas, new thoughts, new beliefs, new expectations. new vibrations. You can receive energies that hold higher vibrations than what you were fed when you were a child. And then the fifth and final step is to relax. Relax into the knowing that you've done the work relax and receive what is coming to you that is new, exciting, interesting, and limitless. The more you can relax and let things come to you in all shapes and sizes, the more time that you have then to enjoy your creations, to enjoy living in the realm of infinite possibilities. We are the Octarian Council and we have enjoyed Connecting with you. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Hello. Thank you for watching this video and uh, thank you in advance for the birthday wishes, which I'm sure I'll be getting <laughs> as you're watching this, unless you live on Hawaii uh, here. It is past midnight, October 3rd. That's the day uh, I was born. I was actually born in the morning, 1.28 a.m. on October 3rd, and I'm 47 which um, means nothing at this point. <laughs> it's not, it's not uh, significant to me, uh, that number. Uh, other than I, I can look back now and say, oh, uh, in 47 years, this is where I am now. This is uh, what I've been able to create and experience in my life. And I was just telling my wife, as we were lying in bed, I was reflecting and I was saying that, you know, her and Talea, the, they're my biggest accomplishment in life. And I truly uh, see it that way. And I'm not trying to be uh, overly, you know, uh, dramatic or cheesy about it but that's just for me um, that's enough that that's everything and uh, everything really in my life does seem like a gift I, I cannot at times even uh, believe how uh, fortunate I've been and continue to be and blessed and um, it's a uh, it's quite amazing to be here now and uh, be experiencing this life so uh, I've I've I have everything that I need you know I'm happiest when I'm in the forest so um, you know the forest is free. <laughs> I 
it's free to get to almost, unless you count the the gas and uh, car payments and insurance. But <laughs> there's no admission fee for the forest. Um, my favorite thing about ascending will be the teleportation, so that I can go and obviously with my family and go on a different hike every day somewhere. Um, so I'm rambling now. I'm going to put the um, link to the replay of my interview on Beyond the Ordinary with John Burgos, which is we talked all about making contact with extraterrestrials. It's also the course I'll be teaching in November, starts November 4th. Um, so that's the special offer that he keeps referring to in the interview. So you go through the, I'll put that link in there too, you go through his website to purchase the um, registration for the course that will be uh, four one hour sessions um, with me and the beings I channel will take part in it as well and there'll be lots of processes, meditations, exercises. Oh, and that's bundled together with some recordings that I've done over the years on, you know, ET DNA activations and a meditation and light language and just a, a fun little bundle of things. Bundle of joy. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week. I'm excited. Uh, because I have Fridays off and I'm, I'm working on my birthday, but we'll celebrate on Friday the 4th, which is fine. And uh, I hope you all are doing well and that your life is uh, working out. Um, and if it isn't, just know that I've, I've been there too. I've been in that, that space where um, I talk about it in the interview with John that space of not wanting to be here anymore and that was nine years ago nine and a half years ago and then everything changed from that moment so um yeah it didn't change right away <laughs> uh even after i had my very cool uh et experience my life i thought my life was going to change the next day into everything I wanted it to be because that's how amazing the experience was. But it took some time to get to where I am. And uh, yeah, I, can, I just continue to count my blessings. And uh, I will shut up now and let you all go. And I'll see you tomorrow and it will be my birthday for me tomorrow <laughs> when I do this. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video.